I'm Brennan and I'm from the United States. Ooh, this year will be four years I lived in Korea. It's, it's been nice. The biggest one would be uh, the, the way that elders talk to the younger people. Uh, I see how that's done. I'm like, wow, what a dick. But I'm from America, so that doesn't really happen when elders talk bad, you know? Yeah, when they do that, I'm like, wow, like, can someone say something to them? Because in America, if other people do that, we will speak out. But here, nah, nah. I'm like, oh, no, don't do that. Fight back. You fight. But I'm American, so it's different. Okay, let's, let's, let's stop there let's, because there's different American cultures. There's, there's American culture and then there's Nigerian American culture. So there's a difference and there's black American culture. There's different cultures there. So once we see, I can explain if it's gay in America society, black American society and Nigerian society. So wait, 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 we want that, but we're not going to pretend we, I didn't just hear that. Draw the eyebrows? What? Draw the eyebrows? Let me break this down. In America, culture, that is considered normal in our society today. Third people I speak of, they're called the Caucasians. They do that. That is fine. Now let me break it down to the real, real world. Black Americans, no. The only thing that goes in the face is soap and water. Nigerian, that's a double H-E, double hockey sick, no. That doesn't happen at all. Soap and water, you know. But if we're gonna get flawless and in, like look nice, we'll trim, we'll trim this up or we'll trim this up. That's as far as we go. Only time the makeup is worn is if they have to do acting or something like that and you have to do the light, that's fine. But as far as like, I, I'm gonna go and go to the store. Let me powder my face. No, it's not gonna happen. Uh, it's, it's not considered gay. In my country, we wear rompers. Oh, it's not considered gay. It depends on how skinny we're talking. I mean, because I, I wear skinny jeans, but they're not like, I'm gonna kill you skinny. It's like the, oh, snug enough to, to see my curves. That's fine. But if you have like something that's like, ah, oh, domestic abuse tight, but I mean, it's 2019. Caucasians, that's fine. Black Americans, that's, that's fine. Nigerians, that's also fine too. But it depends on the skinny for black Americans, because and black American guys, they wear skinny jeans, but if it's too skinny, like I'm talking about like, might as well be your skin skinny, that's gay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna explain that. I, I love Korean fashion, and here while I'm in Korea, I can dress as I'm Korean because I will fit in. Now, when I go back to America, I dress a different way. I can't go in wearing a hat and a little scarf and having my little latte and walking with the uh, a man thing, I can't do that. Cause they were like, okay, this guy is very fruity. Caucasian standards, many Caucasians wear that with the huh, and the glasses and the mm, and the fierce. Caucasian is okay. Black Americans, if you're gay, it's okay. If you're famous, it's okay. But if you're a normal person like moi, it's not okay, you're gay. Nigerians, there are some, I mean, cause Nigerian culture, yeah, they do wear that and it's not considered gay. Clutch bag, clutch bag? Now, there's, there's, there's even a line I won't cross, and I'm pretty open-minded. Like, for example, I, my wallet is like uh, the, the long wallet, like the, like the male version of the long female wallet. That's fine, because I have my cell phone and all that stuff, it's fine. Clutch bag? I don't, I don't know, like, no. In American culture today, Caucasians, it's okay. Black Americans, gay. Nigerians, gay. Now, in, in, the, in the urban areas of where I grew up, if I took that clutch bag and I walked down the street with that clutch bag, the black Americans, they would say, dude, got a clutch bag. He's gay, they're gonna, they're, gonna, they're, gonna, they're gonna clown him. If I were to walk through Nigeria, I had a clutch bag, they would look at me and, what is wrong with your life? Because this is it's not normal. So. Okay, now, in my opinion, as both a member of two urban communities, I think it's not gay. I wear pink shirts. Real men wear pink. <laughs> Caucasians, not gay. Black Americans, it depends on the person. Some guys wear pink, but usually pink is resorted as like a flamboyant color. 
which results in people, people thinking that, oh, you were pink, you're gay. For a long time in America, we thought that, you know, so. But now it's 2019 and I wear pink. I actually have a pink shirt. Depending on if you're actually gay, then yeah, it is gay, but it, it's not really gay because it's, it's pink. I mean, certain areas in the black community, gay, not gay, have had. Nigeria, no, not gay. That, okay. If the socks is like that, then no, they're not gay anywhere. I wear minion socks, I wear the puppy socks, I wear a lot of, I wear Christmas socks, I wear, I love different like design socks. American society, no, they say, they may say, some people say it's gay, they, they say everything's gay. But in Caucasian society, no, that's not gay. Black, black society, some guys wear the long socks, but if you wear short socks, it doesn't matter. Now I've been wearing short socks since I was a kid. I wear the long, long ones, but I've been wearing short ones too, so it's not gay. Nigeria, no, most of those Nigerians wear sandals and flip flops and stuff. So, but even if they, even when they do wear those, no, okay. Are you dead? No, you say hairstyle. I'm like, oh dear Christ. Okay. Oh, <gasps> Rise of the Cobra, GI Joe. I know him. Oh, I love him so much. Oh, his hair is adorable. What did it mean, gay? His hair is adorable. I like his hair. Honestly, like. Like my fight, my fight profile pictures and things I'm gonna do. My hair is gonna be that way too. Last week, like, I had my hair like combed over and like, and a lot of people complimented my hair. I was like, oh, your hair is really nice. Like it really looks nice this way. I'm like, oh, thank you. Um, in America, it's very different. So like literally, they say water bottles are gay. So his hair is nice. Actually, I'm actually really jealous of your hair. But that's another topic for another time. Yeah, his hair is fine. I don't think it's gay. In American culture, uh, Caucasians, no, not, not gay. Black Americans, no, it's not gay because it's extra hair. Same like for Nigeria, no, it's not gay at all. But it is Hollywood, so I guess they're trying to like scope them out, like, oh, are you gay? Are you not? Because if if you're gay, people will hit on them. This Hollywood is like a doggy dog world, so they're trying to figure out if he's gay or not, and like that's most of the questions they do, and you know they ask him these things like that. So yeah. But even if he is, it's his business. I mean, uh, I feel this great because I actually can be myself. I can be whatever I want. Like when I was growing up, I was, I'm, I'm a 90s kid. So um, when I was growing up, a lot of things were gay. If a guy wore piercings in his right ear, this is my right? Yeah, this is my right. Okay, if a guy wore piercings in his right ear, he's gay. If a guy had a piercing in his left ear, he was straight. Anything in a certain way, he was gay. But now, I see a lot of guys, even myself, like I get, I get piercing, you know. But uh, yeah, now it's opening up, so it's, it's cool. So, what do you guys want to ask about American culture? Uh, do you want to know what is considered fine in America and what is considered gay in Korea? If you want to know, like, comment, subscribe below. Tell me what you think. Bye!